a nice part of the world is Leap. Also convenient as there's a cafe here with toilets behind and parking is next to the beach. As with the other marks along the Solent, the Isle of Wight is in front of you. Other than Hearst Castle, at Leap you're at the mark closest to the island and the narrow channel makes for some strong currents. The Ebb especially has a strong pull here. You can easily fish the whole of the flood though as the ground is reasonably firm underfoot, especially in front of the car park. There's a few spots you'll hear mentioned in fishing reports around Leap. To your right is the Coast Guard's cottages and a small lighthouse. This is known as the Gypsy Lane end of Leap. Gypsy Lane's not on the Hampshire County map, but if you drive a few hundred yards along the front, it'll be obvious where to park as the road bends away from the sea. Green on the map being land that dries out, you can see there's effectively a huge gully down this end, created by the confluence of the Bewley River. To the left of the car park, the groin start as you head towards Stansor Point and the Horseshoe Spit. Weed effects here in common with most of the Solent and at times carpets the shore. As you can see though, with it being a point and with the effects of the Bewley River nearby, there's interesting ground to fish over and you can see why rays of various species are caught here. The last part of Leap we'll cover is the deep water section. You'll see where the belt of water comes closest to the shore with a deep channel sweeping close by. If you look really closely, you'll see two yellow dots on the beach that we'll come to in a minute and are very relevant. To get there, as you come down Leap Road, turn left just before the beachside car park to get onto the cliff top car park. Drive to the end where you see the grey van and car here to save you a walk. Just be aware the car park gates are locked at night so look for the signs to check the current times. From the car with tackle it's 10 minutes if that. What you're looking for are two D-Day structures called dolphins rising out of the sea. Fish to the left of them for the deepest water. Just be aware as you wade out it's broken ground with slippery algae coating the concrete so mind how you go. An outfall pipe nearby adds to this being a fishy looking spot. A nice mark this and pleasant far off views of the Isle of Wight ferries finishing their journeys at Cowes.